Good morning all my super awesome cillians out there. Look what came in the mail today. I had this from Brian. This is a Rubik's Cube. Um, but it's slightly different than anybody else I got. Um, because this one here is like a super, super good solver. Um, and if I put you guys here, you can probably see why. Because it just flies around so quickly. And um, it's so loose. It's got like these springy things to it. So it takes no really effort to turn it where well, some Rubik's Cube can be really 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 hard to turn and um, this one here is just effortless which is great and um, I think it has already improved my soul time but I only use the normal old method so nothing really fancy about that um, but I had this from Brian because I told him about the Rubik's Cube and he always thought it would be so impossible but then he uh, he listened to me and I told him try and use the old method and it'll be much easier and he did that and he managed to learn to solve it and now he's like on Rubik's Cube mad he really enjoys it um, and he also got some awesome shapes which I don't have uh, but he bought this for me and I don't know if it was like because of brotherly love um, and because he wanted to get me to improve my uh, time so um, but then again, I only saw the old method, so there's a limit on how quick I will be. Um, but still, I enjoy it, and I think this cube is really, really awesome. I hope to learn the F2L method, or the Friedrich method on this one here, but um, we'll see. Um, I'm still not very good at the Friedrich method because I haven't really practiced it, so... Um, Cool cube, um, the name, I don't know really what it's called, uh, it looks like Ido or something like that, it's like a little bit tricky to see, but it's a really cool cube and um, thank you so much Brian for getting it to me, and size comparing to original one, tiny 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 bit smaller, very 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 little, um, the color scheme is basically the same, except these ones here are neon, as you can see, that's a lot more bright, all around. One thing you can do with this old one here, you see that's how it's stuck. Here you can actually, if you want, you can twist the corners. That's how loosely it is, just to show you guys like an example on how loose it is. So yeah, and also if you like, if you take this normal one here and put it like that, it can turn, but it really locks. I have to press very hard if you see that, like uneven the layers a little bit. Maybe that's a bit much, but there it's just ah, locks. Where well, this one here, if you uneven the layers a little bit, like so, it'll still go. You saw that? If I'll try and find a darker side, maybe you can see better. See how much I unalign them, like that, and it'll still move. So, yeah, that's um, uh, a cool cube. Really, really think it's awesome. So, thank you so much, Brian, for giving me that. But right now, I need to go outside and sort out uh, before it gets too warm. It's a little bit cloudy now, which is good. Um, but we have all this stuff here, uh, under there is my old scooter and stuff, and I bought my dad's trimmer. I want to get the grass trimmed down there, and I'm trying to sort out a little bit uh, before I have to go to the skate park this afternoon. But it's only like 10.30 now, so i got a couple of hours. So Paul and I are trying to do a little gardening. That's my old scooter, which is all taken apart. I want to wash all the shield, buddy. You can see there's like two sets of shields. Uh, but I want to clean it all and uh, store it nicely in here, somewhere. And we're trying to get all this weed away. And then in the future, I want to take all the stones away, then we can just use the lawnmower around here. And I need to go and repair my dad's trim. I just used it. Because my dad has such a dumb habit of storing stuff just outside, left out in the open, stuff gets rotten and breaks. So I have to try and fix this pulley here, which is really annoying. But yeah, that's my dad for you. He got so much stuff, but he just stores it at all stupid places. It would have been fine if it was inside, but... Let's go ahead and try and fix this. Whew, so much stuff I find back in all this grass here. Just trying to clear a little bit so we can get back here. You can see now, at least a slight little bit opening. I'm just going to clean the rest of it up so we can walk that way back to the garden. Look at these things here. Look at the thorns and that. That's horrible. They're so sharp. So really, really not nice at all. There's a strimmer which I fixed. That's a good thing about um, me. I never had any education in, in doing motors and stuff like that or fixing things, but using your own 
intuition and thing. Oh, I think that's how it's done. That's just worked fine. And look at the bees are so busy. I love seeing the bees at work. Oh. <laughs> Someone said that the bees will sting me. No, they'll only sting if they felt threatened or something like that. And I'm not hurting them. They don't mind me walking close to them. Let's go over here. There might be a lot more here. Yeah, so look how they're sucking honey. Oh, we got a big bumblebee over there. You see him? Big bumblebee. <laughs> but no, um, honestly, uh, of course there are killer bees which you got to fear a lot because they are dangerous, but normal little bees like these, see, they don't mind. They will only sting if they're threatened and I'm not doing anything to them, so. If the bees like that landing on you, don't worry, just let them fly off or just wipe them gently off, don't hurt them because they are they're very good for our environment. What's that? You got a tick on your nose. Let me have a look. Ah, right, come here, Sally. Stop. Stop. Come here. Stop when I tell you to, madam. No, that's just a piece of grass. I need to keep an eye on ticks. I don't want ticks on her. So, I've just finished for the day in the garden. I'm not bothered anymore right now. It's too hot. So, uh, I did what I could while well, it's well, not too warm, but now I'm just sweating like a pig back there. So, I just went up and had a quick shower. And now I'm sitting here and having a little bit of sun and don't worry I'm not naked I got underwear on so yeah <laughs> the KO Kendama contest is over uh, end of the 16th or that was the last day to submit your entry and uh, I didn't win sadly um, but then again I realized I forgot to add something in the video um, what they say in the video is, is that you have to play Kendama of course and show some really good tricks but you also have to give the reason why you should be sponsored by KO Kendama and why you should be on the team I didn't do that, I just made the video, I forgot to add all that, um, and I, even though I read the rules seven times, several times, I forgot that, so. But uh, a guy called Preston won, so congratulations Preston with a thousand dollars, man, I could so use that. Um, because I have a holiday which I won, uh, a gift card, and um, I would love to go on that holiday, and I can go to America, I can go to Australia, I can go to New Zealand, really, really nice destinations. Um, which would be so awesome to go and see um, but I haven't got the pocket money for it and to go away for two two weeks maybe three depending on how I can time the whole thing I need to make sure I got plenty of money so I won't be left out for food and, and drinks and all that so yeah but I'm just trying to get some sun on my pale body because my arms down here are quite brown but the rest of my body is just pale white <laughs> And uh, there might be a slight chance I'm going to Spain in September to visit my friends again, which I've done basically every year, the last four or five years. Right, I forgot my camera at home, so I'm using the phone right now. And uh, I come on up to the skate park realizing that was on, which is not very good. It doesn't need to be on for now. Um, all the glass is just thrown here on the table, not cleared away, which is not very nice. Trays left up there, they're normally being put down there. All right. Giant football is left in here. That's not really a problem, but something which is a problem is that When we come over here, I'm just gonna put this here guys. It's just to hold the door um, The ball normally goes in here Well over here it normally should be locked because that's where the safe is that was left open as well. I Don't know who was here yesterday But someone has been very busy of leaving and getting home and that's not very good. I know it's voluntarily to be up here, but the least the one thing you can do is look a little bit after. And also I noticed that I'm getting low on energy drinks in there, so. So I'm heading home from the skate park and uh, I didn't get to film anything with the GoPro because it was so busy today, I didn't have a chance to, um, to get out um, and skate. And also I, I'm only in flip-flops if you guys look, so I couldn't really do anything. I, I, it was like a, a brain fart for getting that I had to put shoes on before I left. So I didn't record anything with the GoPro today, that's so annoying. Um, but I'm heading home now, I'm sorry about the shaky camera, I'm using the iPhone because I forgot my camera at home. Um, but Sally caught a mole. Um, she didn't kill it, she just caught it and, and got it up from the ground and didn't hurt it. Paul said it's fine. He kept it in a container so we can um, as soon as I come back, I'll, we'll go straight out to take Sally for a walk. We'll bring the little mole and we'll release it out in nature somewhere. Uh, I don't want to kill it because it hasn't done me anything except, well, dig in the garden, but that's 
that's what they do. That's what the moles does. You don't have to kill it for that. So we're taking it out somewhere else where there might be some other nice ground where it can dig. And hopefully they'll be happy there. Hello, Mrs. Mole Catcher. Good girl. And even better, I'm pleased that she didn't hurt it because... No. I, no, I just said I'm pleased you didn't yeah. hurt it. I don't want her to hurt other animals. But look, guys, we got the mole right here. See? He's fine. Look at the big paws. Oh, it's so cute. See it? Oh, it's crying. They want to get out. It's not very big. About the size of a mouse. But yeah, Paul and I, we're going to take Sally out for a walk now. And we'll bring this little mole out and uh, let him loose somewhere else where you can dig and have a happy life. Oh yeah, that's better because that's got air holes in it so the poor thing can, can breathe. Oh, he's crying. What? He's making sounds. That's a mating sound. There you go. What oh, a poor thing. Yeah. This thing's got holes on it, so he, he can breathe there. now because there's holes underneath. Yes. All right, do you want to go out now then? Yeah. We'll take her straight out so we can let the little mole out again. Good girl. Good girl, you didn't hurt the mole. I'm very pleased with that. That's the one thing with Runya, my mom and dad's dog. If she had caught it, she would have killed it. Instantly. If Runya had caught that, she would have killed it instantly. No, she would do it like that. A like cat with a, with, a, with, 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 with um, yarn. Oh, little thing. She could make it a house. Oh, it's so <laughs> cute. Should we give it a name? Miss Molette. Oh, Miss Molly. <laughs> Molette or Molly? Look at that, guys. A penny boarding mole. I bet you haven't seen that before. <laughs> he's getting a little bit like, oh, I want to get out now. You see how he's standing up. He's really trying to get out. Um, I don't think he liked the car drive, but um, we'll find a place over here where there's no housing and stuff and we'll let him out. And he's probably going to be digging himself quickly down the hole and find some worms and, yeah. and relax a bit because I think he's very scared. But again, you guys know how I don't like hurting animals and so Paul is the same way as me. I think if Paul and I would ever win the Euro Millions in life, we would do a lot to animal charity, wouldn't we? Or to animal rescue. Rescue or sanctuary or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something to help animals. And it might sound harsh, guys, but at any given time, I'd rather give money to help animals than people. Yeah. At any time, I would. Um, they're always left to the last minute. Yeah, animals are always left behind. And they're the innocent ones. The worst animal in this world is the people. It's ourselves, because we uh, ruin everything. And uh, you probably say, well, I don't ruin anything. No, but our species don't. The, the species, the human. Homo sapien, they ruin everything. They create all this environmental damage and stuff. <laughs> That's why if I ever should be rich enough to give something back to help animals and stuff, I would. All right, we're gonna let the little mole out now. I'm gonna hope we can keep Sally away. I'm gonna let him out here. So, open him. All right. Goodbye, little Miss Molly. Come on, you're free. There you go. Your new home. You see, if you start digging, you gotta hold the minx back if she comes over. Yeah, he's digging. He's digging. Yeah, he's hiding. Look. All right, we leave him alone because he's scared, probably like hell. Come on, Sally. He's probably very scared. So that was a good deed of the day, releasing a little mole. I feel good doing that. It was nice to rescue it. Um, and it was nice of Sally to be such a good girl and not killing it. That just shows how gentle she is, guys. Ronya would immediately have bitten it to death. She's such a, a killer. The worst thing about my dad is encouraging her to do that kind of things. It's like, there's a mouse, kill it! I'm like, why? It hasn't done anything. I am loving this cube a lot. And, um, I gotta say, I have beaten my own old record with this cube already um, which is about my old record was 39 seconds I got down to 37.2 um, I was just trying and I went on to the internet and found something called cubetimer.com and uh, you can just press space when you start and space when you stop gosh I'm so tired I should have gone to bed for a long time ago but my video has just finished rendering and it's uploading 139 minutes yet and I'm not gonna stay up for that. I just wait till tomorrow morning. But anyways guys, I'll see you tomorrow. So um, 
Yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the little mole. That was so cute. That's something I'll remember. So, uh, see you guys more. Take good care. Stay awesome and epic. And be the best that you can be. See you. I'd like to have this guy because, wow, look at that. They're really good size. See that? Cucumber. Or gherkin. So I'm just waiting for my grandpa to come around with um, the, uh, the spanner thingy. Let me go and help. <laughs>